Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about study of orbital energy gap and its order code is 36299 so in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this trainer kit so this is a study of orbital energy gap trainer kit here we are having a fixed DC regulated power supply of 2 volt at 10 mA and this is the current meter which measures current from 0 to 200 microampere and this is the diode OA79 and this is the oven section and this is the stand for holding the thermometer and this is the oven on off switch now we are going to perform an experiment on the kit so the experiment we are going to perform is to study the forbidden energy gap in semiconductor diode so for that firstly we will put this thermometer inside this oven section so we have to make sure the mercury section of the thermometer should be kept inside this oven section and we have to keep the thermometer using this stand so we have to hold the thermometer like that then we will do the connection so firstly we will connect the positive of DC regulated power supply to the positive of current meter then we will connect the negative of DC regulated power supply to the negative section marked at the P section of the diode and then we will connect the negative of current meter to the positive section mark at the diode end and now we will connect this diode N section with the diode N section marked at the oven area and we have to connect the P section at the P section like this so that is how the connection is done now before switching on the main unit we have to keep the oven switch at off position and now we will keep the trainer kit at on position and now we have to keep the oven at on position so the temperature rises and we have to keep the oven on till the temperature rises to 90 degree celsius and then after we have to take the readings so we have to keep an eye over the readings of the thermometer so the temperature should rise up to 90 degree celsius and from here we have to take the current meter readings so as the temperature rises you can see the increment in the current so as the temperature reaches to 90 degree celsius we have to keep the oven switch at off position and then we have to take the readings when the temperature decreases so as the temperature decreases we have to take the current readings and we have to form the observation table so now as the temperature reaches to 90 degree we have to keep the oven switch at off position so I have kept the oven switch at off position and now we have to take the readings and we have to form this observation table like this so we have to take the readings of the temperature here and we have to take the readings of the current here and as it is mentioned in the manual we have to take the readings from 90 degree celsius and we have to take the readings in steps of 5 microampere so as we are having the readings here in microampere so we have to take the readings from here only now our temperature is up to 90 degree celsius and 
the current reading which we are getting is approximately 54 micro ampere and now we have to take the readings after 5 steps of micro ampere reading so as this current reading decreases in 5 micro ampere interval we have to take the readings of the temperature again so that is how you have to take the readings so again the first reading can be taken at 50 micro ampere and then the second reading must be taken at 45 micro ampere then again third will be taken at 40 micro ampere and that is how you have to take the readings of temperature at every 5 micro ampere interval and you have to form this observation table and after plotting the graph we will get this slope so that is how this experiment is performed so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this training kit you can contact at tesca global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel